The brand new class of drugs are particularly exciting because you have the first monoclonal antibodies that have been approved for treatment in myeloma. So you have daratumumab, um, which uh, is a monoclonal antibody directed against CD38 that is present on most of the plasma cells. And the results we saw with the single agent daratumumab was quite striking in a group of patients who were very heavily pretreated. And this was followed by two large phase three trials, both of which showed that adding daratumumab to the commonly used regimens like lenalidomide dexamethasone or botasimib dexamethasone significantly improved the progression free survival. And one of the really interesting aspects of the result was the proportion of patients who actually became minimal residual disease negative. And this is something we have not seen in the relapse setting at least to a significant degree. So having a new drug, a totally new class of drug um, has really uh, has the potential to really change the therapeutic approach to this disease, both newly diagnosed and relapsed. Now, the other new drug, again another monoclonal antibody, was elodizumab. Um, now, that also has been studied in combination with lenalidomide dexamethasone. In contrast to daratumumab, it does not work by itself; it has to be used in combination. So, it has been combined with a variety of different drugs, and the phase three trial looked at combination with lenalidomide and dexamethasone. And that combination clearly improved the progression free survival and also overall survival when you compare it to lenalidomide dexamethasone alone and in a group of patients who have had one to three prior lines of therapy. Now there are obviously there are other studies that are ongoing so we hope to hear some other results both in terms of combinations of elotizumab with other drugs but also the combination with lenalidomide in the newly diagnosed myeloma setting.